Hi, how are you? I'm Andy Chanley. Uh, I am a Westworld robot, and I am going to show you how to do some rain catchment in your backyard. Uh, see these barrels? We're going to put them to good use. We're going to fill them with 110 gallons of uh, Southern California rainwater, which is something that's pretty precious, right? I had to start by putting up gutters in my house. Maybe you have the same problem. In Southern California, you see, a lot of us just have uh, concrete in our backyards. We have concrete uh, in our driveways, and that water then, that rain just goes right off into the storm sewers and into the ocean. But if we save it, then we can use it on our plants. You don't want to drink it because it'd be nasty. There'd be all kinds of asphalt from your roof on it. But if you save it, you can put that water to good use. So I put up these gutters over the weekend. You can tell because I was working with sheet metal. Huh? And now I'm going to pierce the gutter and fill up my two barrels with 110 gallons of water and then the rest of the water is going to get washed down this pipe and down this channel down to my storm drain that's back over here. So to get started, what do you need? Well, you're going to need some barrels and you're going to need some way to get the water out of the gutter, right? So I've got that. I've got a hose and I've got one of these little guys. Now these kits you can buy online, they're like 20 bucks. And what's going to happen is I'm going to stick this into the, uh, the gutter. It's going to go inside it so when the rain comes down it's going to wash in through here and down the hose and into the barrels. And any rain, you see it's not as big as the, the gutter is so any time it gets filled up, if it gets all the way backed up in here, then the extra water will just drain around it and go down the storm sewer. So we'll need this kit then I'm going to connect the two barrels with this and I'm going to get everything into this barrel with a menagerie of fittings. You'll see that I already put on some of the hardware that we're going to use for this, like these two bushings that are going to connect the two barrels. Now, why did I put it at the bottom? You could have put it at the top, you could put it anywhere, but if I put it at the top, that means when this barrel is going to fill all the way up before the overflow comes over and starts filling this barrel up. But if I put it at the bottom, well then both barrels act as one and they'll fill up at the same time. And then I can come over here to the spigot that I drilled in here and drain the water and take it out and water my plants. Another thing that we're going to do is we're going to elevate this just a little bit because while I could put, you know, any kind of hose on here and lift that up to get the water into my watering can, um, it's going to be a little bit easier if it's raised off the ground a little bit. So I'm going to put in the last of these bricks, cinder blocks. And then I'm gonna put my barrels up on top of there. So I think this is where I want my barrels. Make sure you have them exactly where you want because water is eight pounds a gallon. That means when these are full, they're gonna weigh 440 pounds each. You better be happy with where you've got them located. So the next thing I'm going to do is connect the two barrels. And that couldn't be more easy because I've already put these uh, bushings on here. These are just two-piece brass fittings. Uh, on the inside, there's a, a rubber washer to keep it sealed so it won't leak. And couldn't be easier. I should just be able to... Okay, so the, the next step is to actually pierce this downspout and put this in. And I don't get two chances to do that unless I want to redo all these gutters. So we're going to measure twice and cut once. Um, I'm going to make sure that all of these pieces fit. This one fits reasonably well onto there. Uh, don't forget to slip this little ring clamp. Easy. All right. So once I get this in here, and this is connected to this hose, I'm not going to be able to twist this. So I'm going to be a smart guy, and I'm going to twist this in place first. And again, I don't want to have mosquitoes in my rainwater, so I'm making sure that my fittings on these barrels are all reasonably tight. Not super airtight, but just so critters can't get in. I think it looks pretty good. Let's do it. 
We're going to mark where we want to go with this guy right here. And then we're going to do our cut. So halfway between those two marks is where I want this sucker to go. You see how it's going to fit flush up against there. So now I'm ready to push that sucker in there and I'm going to uh, put a couple of screws in there to hold it in place. So here goes, there we are. Good to go. Easy peasy. So now what's going to happen is the rain will come, then it will fall on my roof and it will sheet down the shingles, fall into my gutters, be directed down here by pitch have it all kind of aiming towards the downspout. It's going to come down this downspout. It's going to fill up this barrel and this barrel simultaneously. And then what doesn't go into these barrels is going to go down this downspout and safely down to the storm drain. All right, so three things. One, know your limits. Know what's too tough for you to do. I don't like doing heavy electrical or plumbing stuff just because there's a, a pretty small margin for error. So if it looks too tough for you, it might be. Number two, educate yourself. Watch some videos online, like this one. And uh, also go to the store, maybe check and see how much some of these raw materials are cost. And how much is your time worth? Because if it takes you four times as long as a professional would to get a job done, then maybe it's in your best interest just to let a professional do it. And number three, if you actually do the project, smile, because you probably just saved yourself a lot of dough. And in this case, we did a little bit to help save the environment. I'm Andy Chanley from 100.3 The Sound. Thanks for joining me for this little do-it-yourself project. This DIY project was brought to you by LKQ Pick Your Part. At LKQ Pick Your Part, you can always find fresh inventory for your car or truck. Log on to lkqpickyourpart.com to find a location near you.